several milestones, some of which are very, very significant. So I think you would be very well placed to look at 2047 in all its vast canvas, which is what the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi is looking at, pitching before us, and making sure that with the confidence that we have today in India, each one of us will be dedicated to getting there, getting to the 2047 of our dreams, 2047, which Indian youth aspire to reach. Is it important because it's a, a dream which has been placed before us by the Prime Minister? Or is it not an important dream that all of us will love to reach, attain, because it is that which is the dream of our youth. It is that which is going to hold the hope for India for the next 25 years. So even as you're moving towards completing your 50th year by 2025, with just another 2024 years to go, when you will touch 75 yourselves, India at 100, business standard at 75, should see a developed India where virtues of a developed economy can be realized even in India. And why do we think it is possible to attain? Where are we today? And what kind of efforts have been taken that we are today able to say it is possible for us to reach there without any hesitations? And that is where I think I'll uh, spend about five, ten minutes explaining all that and later, of course, you're going to have a chat with me. Just look at the parameters which are important for us to take on board. They are parameters which form a basis on which we can stand and speak. And they may be short-term parameters, but short-term parameters which are before us even after a debilitating COVID which literally affected every country in the world. India was not unique to it. So 8% growth, three continuous quarters, ending the third quarter of 23-24, with other parameters all working towards giving us the confidence that we'll be able to sustain good growth. Now I know I, I'm talking on a media platform, I'm also conscious that every line is going to be, oh, the FM said this and tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not saying whether it is 8% or 7.9%. But the fact remains that 8% over three quarters and looking at a good sustainable momentum for growth itself is a good plan to stand on. And even as we are the fastest growing economy, to say, all right, we have the confidence now, what are the other parameters we should take on board? And therefore, if that is the first one on which I want to speak, I also want to highlight the path which has been laid out before us, as though it's not as though it has been laid before us without a reason, but the emphasis are on four eyes in laying that path before us. What are those four eyes? I, I've mentioned this earlier once, but it is important to say that now because that's going to be the pathway with which we want to give a picture based on what has been delivered in the last 10 years and a picture where economists and journalists like you will, will be very clear that this dream is not just castle in the air. It has ground. It has reason to be trusted because that path is a steady, concrete path to lead us towards that dream. So the four eyes are investment, infrastructure, I would put the infrastructure first if you want, infrastructure, the second being in investment, third being innovation, and the fourth, inclusiveness. So if, our, if these are the four with which the pathway to achieving the goal of 1947, 2047, developed India, the, the ripple effect which can be caused by each one of these four can give us the mass to have the strength 
to realize this dream. We could very happily say that these are the four eyes on which we are placing the emphasis, but record of this government will tell you that we believe in all the four eyes. Look at the way from 1.88 lakh crores in 2014-15, the infrastructure <coughs> or the capital expenditure allocation in the budget, to where it has reached today. It is 11 lakh crore in this budget, which is 24-25, I'm not talking about the auto account, a growth of 433% in these last 10 years. So we believe that one of the eyes is very important because that's what is going to give you the multiplier effect. That's what is going to have immediate uh, ripples uh, because most of the institute constructions which happen or the infrastructure which is being created will bear multiple uh, reserves. So that is a very important factor. Now, as a result, we are able to crowd in private capital. We are also able to see that the gross fixed capital formation is also showing tangible improvement. Now, the at cost of constant price, what we have registered in this year, 24, is 10.2% growth in the growth.